welcome to another episode of The Word for Kids. I'm Jamie and I'm guiding you through the book of Exodus in a series of 20 episodes. Last time we learned about the Israelites' escape from Egypt. The Lord went before them in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. The Egyptians changed their minds about letting the Israelites go and pursued them. When it seemed like all hope was lost and the Egyptians were sure to capture the Israelites, God told Moses to raise his hand over the sea to part the waters of the Red Sea. When he did this, the Israelites walked through on dry ground. The Egyptians followed them, but once the Israelites had passed through, Moses again lifted his hand and the waters came together again. The Egyptians didn't survive and the Israelites escaped their grasp. And that's where we left off last time. Are you ready for today's adventure? Let's go. After their escape from the Egyptians, the whole Israelite community went on to the desert of Sin, where they grumbled against Moses and Aaron. They said, if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. There we had all the food we wanted to eat, but you have brought us into the desert to starve. The Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and collect what is needed for that day. This is how I will test them to see if they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they may gather twice as much bread. Moses told the people that God had heard their grumbling against Moses and Aaron. But he said to them, you are not grumbling against us, but against the Lord. Moses told Aaron to say to the people, come before the Lord for he has heard your grumbling against him. While he was speaking, the people looked toward the desert, and there they saw the glory of the Lord appearing in a cloud. The Lord said to Moses, At twilight you will eat meat, and in the morning you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening quail came and covered the camp. Quail is a type of bird they could eat. In the morning there was a layer of dew. When the dew was gone, thin flakes like frost were on the ground. The Israelites didn't know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread the Lord has given you to eat. He reminded them to only take what they needed for that day. They did as they were told and only took enough for that day. However, Moses also told them not to keep any of the food until the next day. Some people did not listen to this and kept the bread anyway. But then it was full of maggots and began to smell. Moses was angry with them for disobeying God. So each day the people gathered just what they needed for that day. On the sixth day they gathered twice as much just as Moses told them. This time the extra gathered did not have maggots or get stinky. This was extra bread to have on the Sabbath. Because they were to have a day of rest on the Sabbath, there would be no bread to collect on the seventh day. This is why they had extra to gather on the sixth day. Some of the people went out on the Sabbath to look for bread anyway, but guess what? Just as God said, there was none to be found. And this frustrated the Lord who had just brought them out of Egypt, who had provided meat to eat each evening and bread to eat each morning. He said to Moses, how long will you refuse to keep my commands and instructions? You find twice the bread on the sixth day because the Lord has given you the Sabbath. On the seventh day, everyone is to stay where they are. No one is to go out. So the people rested on the Sabbath. The people called the bread manna. It was white like coriander seed and tasted like wafers made with honey. After they left the desert of sin, the people traveled from place to place as the Lord commanded. They camped at a place called Rephidim. But there was no water to drink there, so they began to quarrel again with Moses. He said to them, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you put the Lord to the test? Here they come again with their grumbling against Moses. Remember, this was really grumbling against God. So quickly they had forgotten the many ways God had provided for them, even through many miracles. They said to Moses, Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to make us and our children and our livestock die of thirst? So Moses cried out to God, What am I to do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. The Lord told Moses to go out in front of the people, taking with him some of the elders and his staff. The Lord said, I will stand there before you by the rock of Horeb. 
strike the rock and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in front of the elders of the people. He called the place Massa, which means testing, and Meribah, which means quarreling, because the people had quarreled and tested God. This spot reminded them that God always provides what they need. Just as he fought for them against the Egyptians, just as he provided food in the desert every single day, and just as he provided water from the rock which Moses struck. And that's where our story ends for today. Now it's time for the word of the day. Today's word of the day is rest. Rest means to stop, take a break, or stay put. Rest. In today's story, we learned that the people were to rest on the Sabbath, the seventh day. And on that day, there would be no manna to gather because they were to rest. Stay put and rest. This goes along with the word of the day from our last episode, which was still. God set aside a certain day of the week to just rest. Traditionally, Christians observe Sabbath rest on Sundays, while for Jewish people, Saturday is the day for Sabbath rest. The point is that we take a break from our busy schedules and hard work to have a day to rest our bodies and minds, to remember that God is our provider and to worship our creator. Now it's time for the verse to remember. Today's verse is Exodus 15, 11. Who among the gods is like you, Lord? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? One more time. Who among the gods is like you, Lord? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? Exodus 15, 11. That's all the time we have for this episode. I can't wait to see you again soon for another episode of The Word for Kids. Music